Hey everybody, welcome to OddPod, I'm Dan and this is a toy collection update where you see all the latest additions to my ever growing toy collection and this one is a birthday haul because on the 26th of April I became 30 years old so let's see what I got for my birthday um, Oh, there's quite a few things here so I really don't know where to start um, Okay, I'll start with uh, Nintendo 64 um, Yeah, some of you know I do already have an Nintendo? A Nintendo 64, sorry. Uh, I do have a Pikachu Nintendo 64, but I don't want to get it out of the box all the time, and if it gets damaged, I'll be a bit gutted, because, you know, I really, really like it, and it's part of my Pokemon collection, and it's going to be pretty hard to get in such good condition again. So I thought I'd get a run-of-the-mill, you know, your classic N64, so I can record gameplay and stuff like that. So, yeah, got an N64. Um, next up, what should I show you? Um, oh, I got... Adam and the Adam and Joe book. Um, yeah, I don't know if any of you has watched the Adam and Joe show back in the late 90s on Channel 4, but I absolutely loved it. I'm still an Adam and Joe fan now, and I always wanted the book, and it always went for ridiculous prices on eBay and Amazon and stuff. And yeah, my lovely girlfriend Sam got me the Adam and Joe book because it, it managed to go down in price. I never no noticed or anything, but so happy to finally have the Adam and Joe book. Um, so yeah, if there's any, any Adam and Joe fans, please comment below. I'd really appreciate that. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, also, I got... If I just put this book back... I got the Looney Tunes collection. Really, really happy with that. It's 24 DVD box set of Looney Tunes. It is the complete golden collection. Really, really happy with this. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, yeah, it's got all the DVDs there. It's got like the best of Bugs, the best of Daffy, the best of All Stars, the best of, you know, everything. Just loads and loads and loads of Looney Tunes and I love Looney Tunes so yeah that's that uh, next up I'll show you uh, I've got a bunch of Ghostbuster figures um, obviously I do already already have these ones um, and I don't have this one actually I don't have this guy but I also with them I got all the Proton Packs so really really happy with that and I drop them I've uh, got a Ghost of that too very cool. I don't have this ghost. I don't even remember having this ghost as a kid, actually. Might have done. I can't remember. But yeah, he's kind of cool. Uh, next up... Oh, I don't know what to pick. Okay. I'll go for... Bucky O'Hare figure. A complete Toad Air Marshal. I've got him in a, he came in a plastic bag and took him out yet, but he's complete. And he also comes with his card and the, you know, the bubble thing that came with it. So that's kind of cool. Really nice. Um, I'll put that down there. The way. Uh, next up, we have a complete Baxter Stockman. Uh, still in his packaging. I will be displaying him sometime and reviewing him sometime. But he's 100% complete. Very, very cool. And I have a complete Leonardo as well. Even comes with the um, the weapons rack. If you can see it there as well. Very, very cool. I will display him again soon as well. Um, a random one here. We have, I don't know if anybody remembers this anime, but we have the Hamtaro Handbook. <laughs> uh, I loved Hamtaro, I thought it was a really fun little anime. Uh, I used to play the games as well. But yeah, if anybody rem remembers um, Hamtaro, let me know. I really like that. Yeah, really cheap on Amazon, so I thought I'd get it. Um, what should I look at now? Okay, we have a Meowth cup, like a drinking flask thing with a extendable straw and everything. Very nice. Won't be drinking out of it because I don't know who has been drinking out of it, but it'll be going on display. But it's very, very nice looking. It's really big as well. It's the size of it compared to my head. It's huge. So yeah, but that's really cool. I really like that. I've uh, got another Ghostbusters figure here, which is the Dracula vampire one. He does his action there. He's even got his cool cape and everything. Really, really cool. I like that. Uh, okay, I'll pick this one. This one I got when I went to London for my good friend Christian. And he got me this, which is really, really cool. This is a Creature from the Black Lagoon figurine, and uh, I really, really, really like this. He will be opened and reviewed on my other channel, my horror channel called Dead Reel. Um, I might leave a link in the description below to the channel if you're interested in horror reviews. But I might not, I can't. I don't know if I remember to, but if I do, have a look. So yeah, and just, oh, look at him. Can't wait to open this guy. So yeah, love Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, next up, oh I did get like a few little Funko Pops and stuff, I got like a um, Dracula Funko Pop and I got an Ash one from Evil Dead and a um, Dead Eye as well but they'll be all on the Dead Reel channel opened up and stuff. Uh, next up we have a on the card um, turtle figure, we have TD Tossin Leo, 
which is part of the Sewer Sports All Stars. And it's unpunched on card, really, really nice condition. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. Uh, it's a bit on the back, it's even got um, like the pitch and stuff like that on the back. It's kind of cool, yeah. So, I don't think I ever had one of these back in the day either. I don't remember the sports ones. So yeah, really happy with that. I'm a little bit, I sound silly, but I'm a little bit good it is unpunched actually because um, I kind of wanted to hang it on the wall. But um, I don't want to like pop it in now because it's unpunched so I'm just going to display it another way. But yeah, very cool though. Um, I got a Game Boy printer in the box, really really nice. Just need to get some, um, I think it came with a little bit of um, the printer paper. But I'll try and get some more sometime, I'll do a really good review on it if I can sometime. So yeah, Game Boy printer, I never had one back in the day. I had the camera, but I never had the printer to go with it, so hmm, happy to have that. Um, oh, another Ghostbusters, I got, finally got, I, I don't know why I haven't gotten before, but finally got Stay Puffed. <laughs> so very, very happy with that. Um, yeah, it's been ages, I've been meaning to get Stay Puffed for ages, but it always goes for ridiculous prices, so yeah. Really, really happy to get Stay Puffed. Very nice. Uh, next up we have, I think he's called, just not Rotten, I think it's Rude Ralph. We have Rude Ralph. Look how cool he is. Uh, yeah, my friend had this when she, when uh, when I was a kid, and I always wanted it, and I always asked her if I could have it, and she said no. And I'm pretty sure he's part, part of the Mad Balls collection, maybe, I can't remember. But um, I've, I always love this guy, and you could pull his, and oh, yeah, if anybody had this, did, because I can't remember the sound he used to make, because you can pull his eye out and he makes a sound. But it was over 15 years ago, more than that actually, when I was um, playing with my friend's one. And I can't remember what noise it actually made. Did it make this noise? Was it just that noise, or do you think the battery's gone a bit? Because I've got a feeling the battery's gone a bit. I'll put it closer so you can hear it better. So let me know. <laughs> so yeah, but he's so cool. I've wanted him for years, and yeah. I love him. I'm pretty sure it's Rude Ralph. I think that's his name anyway. But yeah, absolutely love him. Really happy with him. Uh, right, I'll put him there. Uh, next up we have um, Boglin related thing. I have a sealed pack of um, with a Boglin in it from 1992. Uh, it's an Italian one because that's all you can get them from now. I don't know why, but you can get them from Italy. And uh, yeah, they have sealed packs. And um, it's a bit chewed in the corner and stuff, um, so if I manage to get another one, I will be opening this one, or may if I can get more, I'll be opening a few on a future temporary blindness video. And if you don't know what temporary blindness is, basically it's a part of OddPod where I open things that you don't know what they are until you open them, like mystery things. So um, yeah, really looking forward to eventually, hopefully opening this, but for now I'm just going to keep it with my Boglins collection, but it's still very cool to have. Um, I'll keep on to the Boglins thing, I finally completed um, part of my Boglins collection. Yep, I have Vlob now. Um, very, very happy to have him. So I have all three, if I can show them here, of the original large Boglins. Yep, that's all three of them, and I have them all now. So I've completed the um, the main Boglin collection. Um, all I need now is I've got all three Aqua, um, not the Aqua Bog, Soggy Boglins. Sorry. I've got all three of those, but my Slobster's not in his box, so I want to get a box Slobster. Uh, I need the hairy ones then, and I need the Halloween edition. <laughs> There's a lot more to go still, it's going to cost me a lot, but um really happy to have the main three though. Really happy with that, so yeah, finally got him. Very happy with that. Um, next up, I um, don't know if there's anything up, oh, it's dust down here now. Next up we have the Toxic Crusaders Battle for Troma, Battle, sorry, for Tromaville. Uh, board game. Never played it, never had it back in the day, but I didn't know there was a board game until I saw it recently, so very happy to have that, and I shall be trying that out on a video sometime. So yeah, cool Toxic Crusaders board game. Happy with that. Uh, next up we have, ah, there we go. This is something that, do you know when you haven't thought of something for years, since you was a kid, and then you see it and it just brings back, you don't even know why you ever forgot it because you loved it so much. This board game is one of those things that I used to play so much. And I, I even just played it on my own with the little toys and stuff like that because I loved it. And I used to use it with my figures and stuff. And I'd forgotten all about it until recently, until I saw it on eBay. And that is Tower of Terror. Um, I loved this game as a kid. It was so much fun. Um, it's probably a bit 
poo now. I don't know if it's any good, <laughs> but uh, I remember loving it as a kid and loved playing it. But I used to, like I said, I used to just play it on my own and stuff like that because I loved it so much. So um, yeah, there's Tower of Terror, there's the front of it. I'll show you the back, what the actual game looks like. Um, yeah, you just topple the top of the thing. I can't remember the rules properly, but um, I just remember having a lot of fun with it. And oh yeah, there's a little guy, I think, pointing out. There's a guy on the barrel, I used to swing him around and stuff like that. Yeah, I used to have a lot of fun playing this game, so it's in amazing condition as well. So I'm really happy to have a Tower of Terror. Really, really happy with that. So yeah, got that. Uh, next up, we have another board game. Um, even if there's what I do with board games, even if it doesn't have a, literally have a board, I still class it as a board game. If it's in a cardboard box and it's a game, I class it as a board game, basically. Like Buckaroo. So this isn't Buckaroo, this is Bedbugs. Another one I used to play a ridiculous amount, even on my own, because <laughs> I just loved it. Uh, yeah, that is Bedbugs. Absolutely loved this game. So really happy to have it in my collection. And again, I'll be doing a video of it sometime in the future. So, yeah. And I think I'm on to my last thing now. I'm just double checking because we're a lot of things to go through. Um, yeah, right, I'm on my last thing now, definitely. And this thing, I did have this as a kid. And it's another one of those things like Tower of Terror that I just completely forgot about until I saw it. And yeah, I'm happy about this. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is the Hero Turtles Daredevil Racetrack and I just want to see if you know it just from the title so do you know it? no <laughs> that is this oh god right, it's in the box and everything the box has fallen apart a little bit but um, yeah it's the Daredevil Racetrack for Hero Turtles um, I think there's a picture of the actual bar there it is in the corner if you can see it <laughs> there we go and that is the Daredevil Racetrack very very cool. Um, let's see if I can get one. Well, I haven't actually opened the box properly. Let's see it. Um, show you a little bit of it. Ah, let's go on the cars. So it comes with little cars, and yeah, you just got like loop de loops and stuff like that. You just make a track, and yeah, it's all very cool. Can't wait to set it all up properly and actually have a good play in it. And again, this will be reviewed in the future once I get it all set up, or once I can be bothered setting it up because it does look like a bit of a fuss I do remember um, because as soon as I saw it on eBay I had a flashback to my mum trying to um, put it together for Christmas so hopefully it's got all the bits of it and it's got like the firing bit and everything like that but um, yeah really happy to have this um, yeah so that is the Daredevil racetrack for Hero Turtles really really happy about that and I nearly dropped it <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that is it yeah that's it um, there were a few other bits, but I don't. I think I've put them away. I can't remember where they are. But um, yeah, so that is my toy collection update slash birthday haul. I guess you can call it. Um, yeah, hope really hope you enjoyed that. Please comments below. Let me know if you remembered any of these things. Or have you been after any of these things? Just comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, etc. Yeah, please subscribe if you already haven't. And share. I, I don't know what else to say. Twitter, Facebook. <laughs> um, yeah, and really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, as you can tell, I'm a bit uh, flustered at the moment. I've just got back from work. Um, and oh, yeah, and I have tried to do the intro for this video for about half an hour, and I kept going, hey, everybody, and my voice kept cracking, or hey, everybody, and I kept forgetting the next bit I was supposed to say. So <laughs> I'm a bit tired of talking. But um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. And no, I'll, I'll just see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, <coughs> hey, <coughs> yeah. hey, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get this on right now. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, that's a really good one, actually. <laughs> right, let's go. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, come on! Hey, everybody! Welcome to OddPod and Dan, and this is my. Hey! <laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome to OddPod and Dan, and this is a toy collection update where you see all the latest additions to my ever growing toy collection. And this one's a birthday haul collection. Birthday haul collection? Hey, everybody! Welcome to OddPod and Dan! <sighs> hey, everybody! <laughs> 
Hey everybody, welcome to OddPod, I'm Dan and this uh, Hey! <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to OddPod, I'm Dan and this is a toy collection update where you see all the latest additions to my ever growing toy collection. And this one is more of a birthday haul than anything. Hey everybody, welcome to OddPod, I'm Dan. <sighs> Hey! Okay. One more time. Hey, everybody! No. no last time now. Hey, everybody! <laughs> hey! Hey, everybody! Hey! <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> God's sake. Hey everybody, welcome to OddPod, I'm Dan and this is a toy collection update where you can see all the latest additions to my ever-growing toy collection. Well this one's more of a birthday haul collection, I'll start again. Hey! <laughs> hey! <coughs> hey! <coughs> hey! <coughs> hey! <coughs> hey! <coughs> hey everybody, welcome to Odd... <coughs> hey! <coughs>